Well, we came down to this uh, state park. Looks like they're doing quite a lot of work out here in the parking area. So we have had to park up in this little area up there with a bunch of other people, which is just fine. Let's go check the park out. Oh, there's Aja. No scuba diving allowed. <laughs> All right, $4 per vehicle or $2 per person without a vehicle. Well, I guess you got to beware of bear here. I didn't really think about that in Florida. But there you go. Oh, we've got some bird watching basics. You'll have to slow it down if you want to read that. We've definitely seen a few of these. And a lot of those pelican. They are really cool. Well, here's something I didn't know. They have the Great Florida Bird Trail, Birding Trail, and there's the information for that. I didn't grab my glasses, and so I'm not going to be able to read that to you. But you can definitely slow it down if you like to see that. thinking that we're right around in here somewhere. Right about there. I could be wrong about that, but I think when I looked on the map, that's sort of where we were. So it looks like they're doing quite a cleanup around here. It's a really nice little park. They've got pavilions set up so you can have a little cookout. There's water. I noticed, uh, right up here, right there, I think it's right there, somewhere right there. Um, they've got an outdoor shower and some restrooms. But it is still winter time, so they're probably trying to get things done uh, in the park before uh, spring and summer hit. Let's go check out the springs. This is an interesting little board. Um, talks about the groundwater pollution, invasive plants. And then this right here, the limestone, says look for fossil remnants of sea life which make up the limestone that comprises the Floridian aquifer system. And just so you know, I realized that my glasses were uh, on the front of my shirt. So there you go. All right, let's get down here. I want to see this beautiful water down here. Very is that what they say the water is? Yeah, I guess think from the ground. Dang, I might have to do that then. <laughs> so the gentleman behind us was just saying that it's 68. Look. It is crystal clear. They're gonna come over here, watch this. Oh, they're, they're all coming. I would say we should grab the underwater camera, but <laughs> we can see everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at them all coming over to Scott. Oh, they're really coming. They want food. Huh. Aja's over on the other side here. She is doing a 360 video. If you have not seen a 360 video before, go over to Aja's channel, uh, Pandemonium, and you can enter, you can touch on the screen and then walk. It goes all the way around where she's uh, walking and standing. It's really interesting. They're following me. Yes, <laughs> All right, so we were it. <laughs> we were just talking about uh, going up and getting our water cam, but 
this GoPro that Jay bought us is actually waterproof. So Scott's gonna now check you got it me out. worried. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, we're gonna go for a swim again. I see a tortuga down there. I'm gonna hold my breath. So on three, one, two. <gasps> here and uh, there we go there's the trail a tranquil walk along the clear springs water beneath shady moss draped cypress trees a 30 minute walk spring run trail takes you through a river flood plain this trail is occasionally flooded be careful of exposed roots and mud and then <laughs> then you have this sign which doesn't make me feel real comfortable. Does it make you feel comfortable? <laughs> uh, seeing how slow the gators are, I feel comfortable. Seeing how big those gators are didn't make doesn't make well, me that, feel that, comfortable. I, I agree there. All right, so we've got to be cautious. Just uh, we just have to be aware. Yeah, now I wish that we would have saved our last little biscuit that we threw away. We had one biscuit left. Um, we went to Alligator Alley. And I kept wanting to save the last biscuit to feed to this big one that everybody was talking about. We never did see him. We got to the... Be careful now. Don't get too close to that water. We got to the truck and we still had that biscuit. That's a gator calling. Maybe it's a duck. Okay, I got. I have to perform my gator calling. That, or perfect my gator calling. I heard that one big gator. He hissed. That's oh. uh, what noise I heard. Well, that tells you to move away. Yeah. They can come right up here. Whoa! What's that noise? Hmm. Yeah, as Eric, uh, nomadic fanatic, says, don't be a gator hater. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> or is that a tater hater? <laughs> don't be a tater hater. I know. I'm going to change things around. That looks like a gator slide to me. Oh, it can't be. Because he's running to that knob right there. <laughs> this is what's put a stop him to him. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. Mm. And then there's the cypress. Uh, yeah, that would stop him. There. <laughs> he'd hit that. He'd be like, "That's terrible." <laughs> okay, this is really beautiful. Yeah. The thing about what I've learned about the alligators. The small ones kind of blend into things because of their color. Well, I'll tell you what, they bother me. That gator will become tater. And I will <laughs> eat him. I don't know if that's a madrona. I'm not sure, maybe. I don't know. Um, if you guys are from this area or you know what kind of tree this is, I have kept thinking that it was a magnolia, but I'm not real sure. But I wonder if it would be having flowers right now. 
Yeah, I don't know. Our, our, I guess it is winter time still. That's uh, what the leaves look like on that tree that I was asking you guys if you know what kind of a tree that is. This one here is just growing out the sides because it's lost its top. I don't even see any crawdad holes. <laughs> Hmm. Alligator slide. Yeah, I kind of wonder. That's where the big gators come in. <laughs> it could be because I do see some tracks there. Is that what that looks like, babe? Um, I'm guessing somebody else walked down there, but it could be. Were they climbing out? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Not sure. Makes sense. Oh. Gotta watch your footing on this trail, which is what it said. Be careful. These are little blackberries. Maybe wild blueberries? I don't know. I don't think so. They had a shiny uh, skin to them. So I doubt it. Oh, now look at this. This is cool. Isn't that neat? Like little fans. Yeah, yeah, hopefully that's not why they cut the tree down because it was infested <laughs> with that. Maybe it fell mm. down. There's a big one. Yeah, those are really pretty. I've not seen those before. One thing I'm not seeing is any uh, birds. It's because the gators ate them all. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Seems like normally. If you know what? This is what's really weird. I want you to look at this, hon. All right. The water coming down this side. See right. how brown it is. Yeah. The water coming down this side, look how green it is. Well, I know, that's why I was kind of walking over here. It seems a lot greener over here. This is coming out of the pond Okay, you side. gotta make sure. Look around. No snakes. No. Oh. I'm calling gators. <laughs> he's trying to scare me is what he's doing. So then if we come down here, you can see where it kind of goes together then. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's really clear. This is coming out of the um, springs that, or the, you know, the pool area. we're on the back side of the trail now there's another trail over there I don't know how you get to that but somewhere in the park you not only have to watch for gators and roots but you got to watch out for the cypress roots as well those little buggers will catch you up on your pant leg Sure is a pretty park. <clears throat> yeah, so that's why it's underground spring, and this is the regular oh. river. And this is where they meet. Pretty awesome. I don't think I ever seen anything like that before. 
Me neither. Oh, there's a nice size fish. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it's really mucky, uh, muddy right here. I don't want to fall in. Yep. Oh, he's hidden in the mud. So you can really see him in this color water. Yeah. I see someone. There's a nice big trout there, too. Wow. <laughs> Trying to scare me. I was trying to scare you. I was like trying to throw a ah. That's what you get for holding two cameras. I know. I'm dual cameraing here. <laughs> he tried to hold it, and I I wouldn't let him. Oh why? Well, it wasn't I wouldn't let him. I just figured I wouldn't. You're not getting. <laughs> wouldn't bother him with it. Right. Yeah. So the pond is coming up from the ground, and the crick's on the other side. Oh. Wicked. Hey, look at look at this. It's a fan of us all. <laughs> what? He's just it's he's full of, of himself. Oh, Jeez, Lord, have mercy. You are full of yourself. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna walk back. Um, Y'all take your time. We're coming. Oh, okay. I've got a five, I mean, you can really see the fish in there. That's awesome. I know. It's amazing. Did you see any gators though? No, unfortunately. You're not Thank using you. the right bait. I'm calling the gators. Never a dull moment with Scotty. Ooh. Looks like in the really rainy time, rainy season, did it, right? Mm -hmm. Rainy season? Yeah, I'm sure the river's right. Yeah, I bet you have water on both sides. Well, yeah, because the roots are all exposed, and that's, I think, what they were talking about. You know, there used to be an old cartoon about a gator that lived in a swamp when I was a kid. I don't think he was Yogi Gator, though. There was a gator. I'm going to have to look it up. That's cool bark right there. How oh, it's coming off of the tree like that. That's the first bird I think I've heard. Pretty. Oh, there's an, another tree that's got little mushrooms or fungus. So here we've got the wax myrtle. The wax myrtle is very useful to men and birds. The bark of the root is used for municipal purposes and five pounds of berries will produce one pound of wax when boiled. Candles made from the wax burn with a blush flame and produce a fragrant odor. Huh. And many birds depend upon the berries. Yeah, these really look like huckleberry, but I don't know, I don't know if they have huckleberry here in Florida. I'll have to look that up. Reminds me a lot of Washington with their foliage. And there's lots of water. Except their palm, palm fronds or whatever these are called. Uh, oh, is that what they're called, babe? They're called fans. These, <laughs> Scotty's fans. <laughs> We don't, we don't have those out in the wild.
back at the little bridge here. This place is packed in the summertime. And everybody playing in the water. Looks like there's a trail down this way. Oh, Southern Magnolia. Okay. This is one of the better known attractive trees of the southeastern United States. It is used in landscaping and its wood has been used for furni furnish furnishing. Hmm. All right, well that answered my question. Cute little mushroom right there. Oh, this trail doesn't go very far. Nope. Those cypress stumps, your mother had some of those mm -hmm. in her living room. Yeah, when you steamed them, then you pulled the bark off. And then you yeah. varnished them. They're really pretty cool. Yeah, they're really pretty.